And David, last weekend we talked about Michael Edwards returning to Liverpool, a story that you broke as CEO of football at Fenway Sports Group. What else is happening at Liverpool now that he is back? Yeah, that news was confirmed, Rebecca, on Tuesday. CEO of football, as you say, it will inc for, for Fenway Sports Group as opposed for, to Liverpool, but it will include oversight of Liverpool's football operations. Essentially, he will be taking the power and control that Mike Gordon, the FSG president, had at Liverpool and applying it to Liverpool. Um, uh, Michael Edwards uh, has been described by Mike Gordon as one of the most formidable executive talents in world football and that the FSG ownership are absolutely thrilled to get him. Edwards commended them for their persistence. He was humbled by the desire that they showed to finally convince him to take this role. One of the crucial elements, and Michael Edwards describes this as being one of the most important factors in his decision, is the plans to buy another club, a second club that Liverpool can um, bring to and develop some of the world's greatest young talent. And talking of which, I've broken a story in the last couple of hours that Fenway Sports Group are working on a deal to bring in Pedro Marquez. He's the technical director of Benfica. And he's built up a really good reputation um, from his time at Benfica and their amazing youth academy. Previously, he worked at Manchester City too and in the City Football Group working on the multi-club model. So if he comes in, it would be to be employed by FSG rather than Liverpool. And it would be the latest step in this rebuild, the restructure of Liverpool, this new project of Fenway Sports Group. And it really does... Uh, bring an interesting element to this because I don't think Liverpool would be looking to do a Manchester City style multi-club model but certainly a second club to do what they feel is crucial in this modern era and it's all because Jurgen Klopp is on his way out and they're trying to restructure things. It will see Richard Hughes come in from Bournemouth as sporting director. That deal was agreed but it was subject to Michael Edwards taking his role. Now he has, Richard Hughes will follow in due course. They'll try and crack on with recruitment for the summer, the contracts of Trent Alexander-Arnold, Mohamed Salah and Virgil van Dijk and try and win on the pitch as well. They play Manchester United tomorrow in the FA Cup and they've got a crucial end to the season, Atalanta in the Europa League and they're trying to win the Premier League too. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.